So, here we are. After 10 long years, Pokemon Reborn is finally completed. Well, technically, it's an open beta right now, so there could be some bugs, but apart from that, it is done. And I'm so incredibly excited to play through this game again. We're going to be starting a brand new game for two reasons. One, uh, I lost my save file, so I kind of have to anyway. But two, when I first played this game, I heard it was hard. And I thought, ah, it's fine. We can just like, casually play through and it'll be fine. And it, it wasn't fine. I had to brute force my way through so many battles and it got frustrating because I just I missed a lot of stuff and I was having a hard time. But I just want to play through the story because I was enjoying the story. And this time, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to brute force my way. I'm going to do things right, do all the stuff we've missed get decent teams, train up multiple Pokemon so we don't just get absolutely wrecked at a gym and me spending hours trying to come up with a perfect strategy just to win with the team I'm using. So um, yeah, gonna do things right this time. So let's jump right into it. Also, there are some passwords we're gonna be putting in at some point when the game lets us. I recommend a lot of people putting some of these passwords in because they just seem really, really helpful. But there's a lot of uh, passwords you can do to um, Make, make nuzlocks, randomizers, make the game easier, harder. We'll get to that when uh, we can put the passwords in, but Station Master here, we've got your boarding passes. Another one for Reborn City, huh? They sure have been pushing that new league. Let's see, which one of these was it? All right, so we've got the sprites. My characters are looking really cool. Uh, I think, oh, I do like the white hair. And the outfit does look kind of cool. I kind of want to go with the default. But at the same time... I'll go with... Yeah, go with this. I, I like the white hair. I have white hair right now, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> kind of just want to go with that. So, Vault C, yes. Got it. Then, just to be sure for gender I should put, we will put male. Alright. One sec, I'll handle the rest of this. Okay. I like the, uh, the typewriter sounds. The Grand View Station. Adult 1. Okay, so they're all set. So just between you and me, and the old battered fence post, I hear Reborn City's kind of a dump. Why anyone would want to go there is beyond me. And yet, a bunch of you ambitious trainer type folk have been heading out in droves. But off you go now. Train's leaving any minute. Alright, let's go. Gotta say, like, I remember bits and bobs about this game, but it has been a long time since I last played it. I think I last played it, I think about four years ago, coming on four years. So I've forgotten quite a bit, and I first started this game, I think like six years ago. So it's been, like I said, like a long while, and I'm pretty sure a lot's changed in the early game. There we are on the nice old train. The little reborn logo with the uh, the purple, red, blue, and green. Oh, there's Absol. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Okay, thank you very much. I'll see you when we get into the city. All right, hello there. Uh, your turn now. Sorry for the wait. Uh, my name is Amy. I'm the uh, manager of the Reborn League. You're also looking to sign up for it, right? It'd be great if so. We're finally just getting things off the ground again. Truth is, after the incident a few years ago, the whole region was almost completely abandoned, even by the Pokemon. Uh, but don't let that worry you. It might not be an ideal place, but our gym leaders are like nothing you've ever seen before, and I think you'll find it Reborn to be a region like no other too. I'm coming back from some business out of town, so I figured I might as well introduce myself early and get a head start on everyone's registration. Could I see your boarding ticket please? Hmm, Foxy. I guess it's that time already, huh? Well okay, I've got you down. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just feel free to skip this. But were there any special instructions or passwords you had for us? Yes. Okay, so we're going to put some passwords in. So, the first one we're going to put in is hard cap. So, this will basically um, stop you getting any more experience once you hit the level cap. Make it a bit similar to Pokemon Rejuvenation. Because in this game, Pokemon stop obeying you if you go past level cap. And that even happens in battles. So just say you're in a battle, level cap's 50, you're 50, you get to 51 during that battle, your Pokemon might stop obeying you. So this is just going to stop that from happening. So once we get to 50, we'll be stuck at 50 until, you know, we get a badge or whatever. So hard cap is definitely something um, we should put in. So next one as well, we're going to put in is, you can find all the passwords in the uh, readme.txt file. 
in the folder so do look at all that if you want to do anything. Uh, next one we do is easy HMs. Oh, I need to type it onto the game, don't I? <laughs> so easy HMs. So this is going to basically um, allow us to use HMs without teaching the HM to the Pokemon. So this just basically frees up time because otherwise I'm pretty sure I'd have to go, you know, teach a Pokemon a HM, go and find a move delete or go and get a HM slave or something like that. It just saves so much time. This is just like a... So I think this is just like a quality of life password. It just makes life so much less frustrating. Uh, so you have to just like remove moves to HMs. So definitely... Uh, I recommend putting these two on and anything else let me read through the the readme document again in case there's anything I want to change but if you want to do like a nuzlocke a randomizer monolocks uh, have no items um, there's, there's a lot of passwords and apparently there's more hidden passwords um, in the game which uh, I don't know what they are but for the passwords you get at the start then there's there's quite a lot okay so for now I think these are the passwords we'll use. If things get too hard, you can always put on light mode to um, reduce the EVs and IVs. If things get, you know, too easy, you can always put it on full EVs. There's a lot, like I said, you can do. So I think for now, uh, I need to click back onto this. So no, there are no more passwords. All set then. We're almost to Grandview Station. So after we disembark, just follow me to the Grand Hall. There, I'll give you a starter Pokemon to really kick off your adventure and reborn. Sound good? Then if you're... Um, Oh, something's not right. Shouldn't we be decelerating already? Oh no, move! Well, that was, uh, lucky. <laughs> Are you okay? Wake up! Thank goodness you're okay. That train exploded right as we pulled into the station. Um, I'm just glad I could get us out there in time. But everyone else? Well, there's no use thinking about that now. Why did this have to happen? Who would even... Hi hi! Uh, Julia. Julia, what did you do? What? I didn't do anything. I was at the Jimmy Gym and then suddenly BOOM! So I came running. Cause, you know, if things are exploding, I gotta be there to see it. Uh-huh. Based on the timing, this must have been a deliberate attack. Somebody rigged the train to destroy Grandview Station. Or maybe it was... If they did want to destroy it, they could have tried a little harder. I mean, the structure's still standing. What's up with that? This is like a 6 out of 10 job at best. <laughs> anyway, uh, whoever was behind it could still be monitoring from nearby. I'll have the perimeter locked down. May yet catch them. I'm going ahead, Voltsy. There's another trainer that was meant to register with you at the same time. So find her and then come see me. I'll be in Grand Hall, just down this road. You can't miss it. And don't you worry about all of this. I have it completely taken care of. So you're Volksy. I'm Julia, captain of Cheer and Pep. And all things are bubbly and bright. Oh, pop quiz. Are you going to take on the Reborn League? I am. Correct. Then I'll be here seeing you very soon because I'm also the electric gym leader. I'll be looking forward to your challenge. So go on, get down to the Grand Hall already. Okay. Alright, so the first gym leader is electric. If I remember correctly, I think I caught a Fanfy for that gym. So if I can find a Fanfy again, that'd be so clutch. Damn it, now how am I supposed to return home? Uh, I was inside the station when it happened. The train pulled into the station and all ablaze and slammed into the end barrier. It's a miracle. Made it out unscathed. Alright, so... Uh, I'm going to talk to everyone, just in case we get some free stuff or some information. It's going to be a good idea to speak to everyone and check every nook and cranny. Don't want to miss a thing. Hey yo, this area is on temporary lockdown until the situation is under control. Alright, oh, Opal Ward, okay. If only you knew what the city once was, was marvellous. Hey oh, hey, you want to get past me? Let's see some Pokemon. Opal Bridge is a trainer's only location, you know why? Because I said so, that's why. Now get out of here! Oh, okay, okay. I'll come back and I'll kick your butt, buddy. For our starter Pokemon, I am not sure what I'm... Oh, got a potion, thanks. I am not sure what I'm going to use yet. I think last time I picked Froakie. 
but knowing the first gym is electric, I should probably pick something make it a little bit easier, but I need to see what would be the best Pokemon to use. Hey, are you Voltsy? I'm Victoria. It's a pleasure to meet you, but is everything okay? I heard what happened at the station. Well, you're here, so I guess you're alright. Let's go ahead and get registered. Don't worry, it shouldn't take shouldn't take long. Let's go inside. Alright, let's do this. Hey all. Oh, you're here already. Good. There's no sign of any uh, suspect yet, but I've got several officers out searching the area. Suspect? In the station bombing? That's right. If anyone responsible for the incident is in the area, we'll find them. But until then, we'll probably have to restrict travel between the wards. Anyway, new trainers don't need to worry about all of that. We'll be taken care of. Let's finish your registrations. Obviously, the main event is picking a starter. Thoughts you can go ahead of me. I don't mind. Right this way, then. Alright, here we go. So these Pokemon are all set aside for new trainers to choose from. The tables go from top to bottom in order of grass, fire, water, and the Pokemon are arranged from left to right in order they were discovered. Go ahead, take any you like. Alright, so we have Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think when I first started playing this game, um, Gen 7 wasn't in it. I'm thinking, oh man. I'm thinking a Poplio could be really good. And I should probably like soft reset, try and get like a decent roll on a Pokemon this time. Wait, I'm having a different game. I say, can't you get like a something completely different? Oh, the whims of fate. Oh, fate has decided. I don't want to use Fennekin, but um, yeah, I'm gonna soft reset. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for something, but I'm gonna see what I should go for. I'm thinking maybe like go for Torchic, get like a speed boost Blaziken would be really nice if I can get that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so after about 10 soft resets, I got a Torchic with Speed Boost. So that will come uh, in handy. Let's go to rename and we will call you like I always call my Blazikins Fanta. All right, that'll do. Settled? All right, let's not keep uh, Victoria waiting. We definitely should not. So which one did you pick, Voltsy? Oh, don't worry. I won't pick just to beat you. That's silly. Good. <laughs> I don't know which one I want anyway. Well then, shall we? Okay, wait here for me, Voltsy. Oh, I kind of wanted to get Poplio. I just felt like a um, Primarina would be really helpful later on. But hey, you're cute. Ah, oh, thanks. What? Ah, no, I didn't say anything. Hey, was Amy just here? Oh, so she's with someone else. Okay. Uh, my name's Kane. How about yours? Voltsy. Pretty name. Some of the looks of it, you just got your first Pokemon. You're going to challenge the league? I was just coming here to uh, to start over. Figured I'd uh, try taking on this league instead. So, Voltsy, what do you say to a battle? If it's your first time, I'll be gentle. All right, let's do this, our first battle. Can we win? I feel like Kane's design looks so different from when I last played it. It was cool. Ooh, look at the... um little thing next to the HP box. Oh, that's four, but that looks cool. Let's go Ember. And tackle, okay. That speed boost is, oh, okay, so that's what it is. It's like a, a box to show, oh, we got burn, nice. Show boosts and stuff. Ah, oh, sweet. Nice. Hey. And now I guess level 6, nice, oh! Cute and talented. Very nice. Come on, let's get our Pokemon healed up. There's a Pokemon Center built in right over here. Alrighty. Heal me up please, not that I really need it too much. But welcome, allow me to heal all your Pokemon. Here you go, we hope to see you again. Hey. So there you are. Sorry, I kind of stole Voltsy. Oh, Kane, right, I forgot you were coming by. It's okay, uh, when you were gone, I met Voltsy and had some fun. Had some fun? So that's the kind of person Voltsy is. Now nah, we just had a battle. Oh, that does sound fun. Wanna try out my new Pokemon too? Voltsy, you up for one more? Kane, I'll get you registered as a challenger while they do that. Come with me. Oh, yes, Master. Master? 
<laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh huh. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm kind of curious to see what Pokemon she got. Then let's begin. My sensei said that learning to work and train together with Pokemon would be an invaluable step on my journey of personal growth. Voltsy, let's take these first steps together. Well, I already took my first steps with Kane, but okay. Let's see what you got. Love the outfit. All right. Litten. That's not too bad. Uh, I guess we... Go Scratch. That's four damage. It's not too bad. Nice. And another Scratch. And one more. Finish you off. Easy peasy. That's probably the only time I'll ever be saying that in this game. <laughs> oh, it's already over. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Hey, Amy is waiting for you guys when you're done. I'm all set, so I'm going to hit the road. See ya. Oh, there was more to do. Uh, let's see. All right, what are we doing? So if we kept you waiting, no worries. I already took care of the documentation while you two were finishing. So, the notice left is to give you these. Firstly, a Pokedex. You know the drill here. We do. Secondly, the Poke Gear. This device allows you to check the map, listen to music, and use online functions. Finally, as a promotional bonus from Silphco, please get these running shoes. As much as I hate advertising, they are convenient. Uh, with these, you can hold the spacebar or toggle the auto run in the options menu. And don't worry, nobody cares if you run inside. Nice. With that, you're all set. Oh, okay, good luck out there. Maybe send a tip to your local officer if you happen to see anyone who looks like they might want to blob a train station. Julia doesn't count. <laughs> Until next time. Alrighty, why is that guy in the corner? He looks very suspicious, but... Alright, I'll get going and check in with Kiki. Oh, who's Kiki? She's my teacher. I'm an apprentice at Apophil Academy across the lake from the city. If you're ever in the area, I'm sure they'd love you to stop by. Anyway, here. These might help you get started. Hey, I know a lot of people say that Pokemon are rare in the city, but you can find them still. Sometimes they look... They like to stay hidden, but they just look around a bit. I'm sure you'll manage. For now, I'll just explore the city. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Uh, let's talk to you. Howdy, champ. Having a rough time? If you'd like your life to be a little easier in the future, I can let you on a secret. Next time someone asks you for a password, try telling them light mode. Specifically, that just cut out all the extra stats from your opponent's e IVs and EV spreads. Nothing too special, but you might be surprised the difference a few digits can make. Nice. If things get too difficult, then yeah, we'll definitely um, go light mode. Technology is truly amazing. This is a PSA for all trainers. Please refrain from descending waterfalls in the region without approved machine usage. Many cascades are very tall and riding them downward recklessly may be a severe safety hazard. Prioritize your health. Stay safe until you have that machine. Contact Reborn City staff if you need assistance. Thank you. Alrighty. Hey yo. Unlike most other regions, the Reborn League has a total of 18 leaders. Cool, right? Or did you already know that? I didn't already know that. <laughs> we sometimes have some uh, battle enthusiasts over here. A different one every day of the week, and we get an extra turnout on weekends. You can battle them as much as you want, but we ask them to clear out when new trainers come by. We don't want some overzealous 10 year old rocking up with their level five starter, nothing else, but proceeding to conk, conk out on the first guy they see. The free battle trainers will be back in a bit though. Don't you worry. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Team Meteor, they just, they're just a stupid conspiracy theory. Uh, yo. I hear Pokemon with hidden abilities have been shown up in the wild lately. Man, I'd like to get my hands on some of those. Like my speed boost Torchic. Man, I was hoping to go study at... Is it a... A Puffle? Puffle Academy? But there's no way I can cross the lake with a Coral Pier shut down. What are you watching on TV? Want to watch interviews, profiles, hunting, or whatever. Uh, I hear shiny Pokemon appear much more frequently in Reborn than other places. And they look different from uh, most shinies, too. Who wants to bet it's because of radiation? <gasps> oh, what does anyone that sell great balls? Not fair. I mean, the Obsidia department store does, but you need a lot of stickers for that. Oh, that's why I didn't do the last time I played it. Like, um, if we do like some side questy stuff, we should be able to unlock more um, items to buy at stores and get like revives and whatnot. Because, um, yeah, gonna need them potentially at some parts because some battles were incredibly difficult. 
But if I do all the side questy stuff, then hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult, you know? Hey, you got a problem? I do. Keep out of our ways. And the Eloise too. They're ours. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, isn't it hard to keep track of stat stages all the time? But you can press control in battle to toggle a view of everyone's current state. Oh, okay, so that's what we got on already. So that's really cool. Want to know something, buddy? I'll tell you a secret. The lake water's too toxic to fish in, but my buddy's got this swimming pool in his house. When the Pokemon in Azurine Lake started getting sick, he rescued a few of them and kept them in his swimming pool. Now the place is practically like an aquarium. Sounds good. I should probably heal up actually, because I don't think we got healed up after um, the battle with Victoria. Alright, so. Oh. Sup? Snubble, please stay. You're driving me crazy. <laughs> Snubble! Oh, not again. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to get in your way. It's just my Snubble, it won't listen to me at all. Ever since it became level 21, it's been totally out of control, even though I raised it from an egg. I guess I shouldn't have underestimated when I heard that Pokemon in Reborn only listen to trainers they really respect. Pokemon will always respect you up to a certain level if you have a gym badge. And you can see that level on your trainer card. It's the first visible one. But what if I can't win a gym badge? Is there some other way? Oh, I need to hurry up and find Snubble. Goodbye. So that's why we put the hard cap on, so we will not have this issue. Because, um, oh, we want to battle. I'm researching Pokemon's hidden abilities. Apparently they even appear on Wild Pokemon and Reborn. Help me out. Will do. Yeah, like, I don't mind the level cap. I think the level cap is really cool, but I don't like it when they have a level cap, but you can go over it and it's not obeying you. Didn't like that. So the hard cap, just, uh, definitely, definitely good. Let's go Ember. Sweet. Yeah, speed boost. Another Ember. Take you out, and then we should get level 8. So I'm guessing the level cap right now is probably 20. Should check. Yeah, 20. Alright. So what kind of Pokemon can we find in the grass here? It's not much grass, but... If we can find a... Fanfy. I'm pretty sure I've caught a Fanfy before. Is there a speed up button? I think it's ult, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so you've got speed up for ult. The building looks really nice as well, I say. Let's go check over here, it's a bit more grass, but easier. But Pidgey, we don't want a Pidgey. Have you guys got any tips at all for things I should be catching or strategies to potentially go for in the future? That would be real nice. Try to keep it like spoiler free if you can as well. That'd be, be pretty poggers. All right, gonna check for two more Pokemon in case we find what I'm looking for. But I'm, I don't know. I, I might have to check. I will play through to see where I caught it. Cause I remember Don Fan was an absolute hero in um, my first playthrough. Saved me in so many uh, occasions. All right, oh, oh, can't go down that way. All right, so let's, can't go up this way, can we? All right, back off. This is Opal Bridge. In other words, if you want to pass the only way is to earn your right away. Okay. Probably well, we should get healed off this battle because we've taken a bit of damage. Nice. Alright. Alright, go ahead. I will. But there's gonna be a lot to explore. Like I think if you've if you're just starting this game and you have no idea what like reborn's about, you're probably gonna get a little bit overwhelmed at parts because there's so much to to do and see. But I think the best thing to do is probably just take your time. Just go slow. Just uh, check every house and stuff and just try and explore every little bit as you go along. Hey, you want to help a guy out? Uh, I can spare 50, yeah. Much obliged. Not sure what happens if I do it again, but... Oh, is this the gym? Neo Circuit Power Plant? Okay, so yeah, we won't go here just yet. Uh, can we go through this little gap? Oh, yo! New trainer, why don't I introduce you to this place? Okay, please do. We'll go across Opal Bridge a little bit later. Put me to sleep. That's really annoying. But you're burnt, so it's all good. Just gotta wake up now. Hey, there we go. And Ducklet. Ooh, let's go scratch. Oh, we might lose this battle. Right, I'm gonna potion.
The Out Potion just saved us. Give us an extra turn, you know? Ooh, that was close. Alright, I'm gonna go back this way because it's safe. And we're gonna get to another battle. And we get healed up. I'm probably going back and forth a lot. So this playthrough, like I said, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than how I, well, a little bit, a lot different than how I last did it. We're gonna be taking our time, just exploring like every nook and cranny. Talking to everyone, just, yeah. We're gonna be doing a lot. I wanna make sure we get like all the uh, the event Pokemon as well. Because apparently they're like, got better stats, like got good EVs and stuff. So they should be very helpful. These water Pokemon right now. Make it a little bit difficult, but luckily I don't think we have water gun or anything, so we good. Nice, nice, nice. So we can go... That's back to the train station, so if we start... Oh. What's going on here? No, a victim of the crash? Quit your sniveling and go to the back of the line, like the rest of them. Those who cut won't get treated, but all who wait will get what help we can be given. Whatever pain you feel, I know it was not deserved. Uh... Can't decide if the pharmacist looks creepy or dignified, but as long as he saves some of that painkiller for me, I don't care. Please hurry up. So on everything, holy, my entire arm is gonna fall off. Okay, so maybe I'm being a little over dramatic. Sue me. It's not like you were in the accident. Uh, oh, you were? <laughs> Alright, go right ahead. <laughs> Alright, so got two buildings here. What do you need? Don't have anything to offer you except a fight. Unless that's what you're here for? Yeah, I'll fight. Suit yourself. Alright. Oh, Goldeen. Oh, we are so losing this unless I get super lucky. <laughs> oh, this might be the play. Alright. Scratch. Scratch. Oh, is actually working? No! Oh, wait. 1 HP. Oh, you got two off in a row. That's unfortunate. But it's fine. I want to win that fight, but we'll come back and do that once we get a few more Pokemon. Like right now, it's probably not a good idea to do that again. Oh, what's this? Pokesnacks. You want to find more Pokemon? Look everywhere and talk to everyone. You may not be disappointed. That's what I'm doing. Uh, did I? How about you? Hey there, you know, this is my hood. Okay. Well, time to get some cool Pokemon. That'd be great. Nice. Okay, so let's go into this house. Oh, a little Whismur. Whismur is drawn to the Pokesnax in your bag. Hungry Pokemon attacked, okay. So I think we should probably capture this. Could be good. Come on. Nice, got the Whismur. All right, I should train up a little bit as well. All right, uh, it's got power and echoed voice. And it's got soundproof, okay. Not too bad. Uh, anything else? Dumpster rattles slightly, Pokemon jumped out. Ooh, what we got? The gulpin. It's not bad, level 10 actually. I should probably capture this, could be helpful. Probably just capture a lot of Pokemon to be fair, just to switch around and rotate. Come on, get caught, get caught. Nice, okay. So gulping again could be pretty helpful. Got a common candy, which uh, common candy, if I remember correctly, is the, like a rare candy, but it lowers your level. Yeah, but we won't have to use that, so we could just sell them. Not sure if you get a lot of money from it, but like I said, we'd have to worry about the whole level cap thing. Goodness, I got quite a surprise just then. A Pokemon jumped out at me from a dumpster. Already done it. <laughs> the Peridot Ward is, is the second largest ward of Reborn. Only Obsidia is bigger. Obsidia's on the right side, right? Pretty sure. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm trying to explore. Got lots to do, lots to do. This to go, people to see. Well, I think I should go before I forget. Go and fight the Goldeen person again. Now we've got the Gulpin. Uh, Gulpin, hopefully you'll be good. What do you need? Okay, so we want to fight. And we'll go... Let's go Yawn. 
And then sludge. And another sludge. And then one more. All good. I like you. Tell you what, I'll let you into the back. Hope you have a fishing rod. I don't. But if we do get a fishing rod, we can come and catch a water Pokemon. Uh, so if you need a rod, a buddy of mine might have one laying around. So where is your buddy? That's what we need to find. Uh, let's get healed up. So we can get the fishing rod, that would be good. So I've been in here, haven't I? No, I haven't. Hey stranger, you know those online quizzes? Like, what's your true, true soul color or which Go Rock quad member would date you? So I found one of those on this old website for what Pokemon type are you? Apparently every single type and combination is possible. I already took it for myself, but I want, I want to see if other people really get that many different answers. I'm normal flying, uh, BT dubs. Do you want to try it? Yeah, fair warning, it's like 36 questions long because apparently the writer doesn't know when to quit. Yeah, sure, why not? Final question. Just for our records to improve this quiz, what is your favorite type? Electric. Ooh, took a while, but you made it to the end. Okay, let's tally up your results now. And done. You're a flying dragon type. You can uh, you can see what you scored for each type on the computer there, or see what your results mean. But there you go. You know, I happened to find this gem the other day. Since it matches you, you may as well take it. Oh, okay, telling me that Mono flying. We'll just make it so you'll probably find more, more Pokemon of that type in specific cases where you might otherwise not. Anyway, take care. Come by if you ever want to take the quiz again. All scores. Normal free, fire one, water one, electric free. Ah, okay. Grass free, ice free, fighting two, poison one, ground free, flying four, psychic two, bug two, rock zero, ghost two, dragon four, dark two, still free. So I was kind of close to like electric, just one point off really. That was kind of cool. Name rater, why do you need the name rater when you can just, um, these days, yeah, technology has come so far, you can just rename your Pokemon straight from the party menu. Kids these days, am I right? Of course, I could still rate your nickname if you really want me to. No thanks. <laughs> oh man. My husband, the name rater, is a little unusual among those in his profession. I like the name rate in other regions, he doesn't care if the Pokemon you like to rate was traded to you. They give it a new name if you like it anyway. Hello, isn't uh, Rio a great name? I mean, it's alright. Right, what else do we want to do? Uh, we can go down here. Nothing. Ooh. An advertisement is plastered on the wall with the amazing Gate Circus, featuring Akani's Clowns and Chaos. Now with the famed Gate Ace Triumvirate. Take the challenge and face off against three reborn league leaders in a spectacular showcase smackdown just west of the gate city don't think we'll be going there for a while yo this is one of the nicest complexes in all of peridot and it's all thanks to mr seacrest's wonderful garden can i see the garden so you wish to enter my garden once i let just anyone in but then the careless people of the city ruined it are you different than them can you prove to me that you're a higher caliber yes then it show me your dedication okay I want to see this garden and catch some cool Pokemon here. Let's go Sludge! Hey, we got the poison, nice. Right, good, good. Level 11, sweet Weedle. Um, I think you can Sludge might be alright. Not very effective, but still good damage. Just want to train up Gulping a little bit, get level 12. I'll train up my Wisman as well. Really do for you in a little bit. Maybe I'll train it up for the next episode. Amnesia, yes. I don't need poison gas because we've got sludge that can poison him. But it's always nice to get the guaranteed. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so I've seen enough. Please treat my garden with respect. So what can we find in here? Lady bar? I don't want a lady bar. There's just lady bars in here you can find. Not sure if it's gonna be a good Pokemon to use. Could be wrong, but oh, a shiny Cherubi. Uh, 
I should capture this just because it's shiny. But I don't know, maybe Truby could be good. Grass type for uh, Electric Gym. Oh, what else can we get in here? Sunken, get my Sun Flora. If there's like anything in here that I should search and try and capture, do let me know and I can always come back. Go for one more encounter in case we find something really cool. Canopy. Alright. So what we need to do is just find a fishing rod as well, get a blood type, then that would be really nice. Haven't seen you around here before? No, you haven't. Alright, let's go sludge. Sweet. I'm gonna get healed up off this actually, because we desperately need to. Alright. But I think I'm gonna end this part right here. Like, I was planning to make these episodes up probably like 30 minutes long, but obviously we got did a lot for the first episode, so don't expect every episode to be kinda this long. But uh, I mean the quiz probably took up a bit of a portion as well, but um yeah. Like I said, this playthrough is gonna be a little bit different than before. Next episode we're I guess continue exploring and um train up our Pokemon, hopefully find some more, and then uh, go. we'll go across the Opal Bridge, take on the trainers there, and uh, yeah, see what we'll go do next. But thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys then. Have a great day, peace.